Okay, I'm going to show you just how to look at the uh, responses in Lime Survey. Um, <clears throat> it's already been installed in the system. The questions have already been added. Uh, this is by After Dark Graphics. Um, just so you know how to use this, it's real simple. Okay, so if you want to change the question, just show you how to do that later. But this is just so hey, you can review the actual statistics on the questions. All right, so you first log in. Okay, once you're logged in, um, if you roll over this little item here, it shows list surveys, and it'll show you the surveys that you have. So you only have one right now. Okay, <clears throat> click on survey, and it'll bring you into this icon screen. You roll over all this stuff and play around with it if you want. Um, you can activate or deactivate the survey, okay, um, and you can delete it, but don't do that. So here um, is how you actually look at your statistics. You go responses and statistics. And then you see that it only gives you, I only filled out two surveys for testing, okay? You can click on this little graph, get responses from the responses, get statistics from these responses. Um, don't just like graphs just because that image library is not installed on the server um, for a reason, because it was compromised. Uh, not compromised, but it's uh, it can be compromised. So um, what you do is just scroll down, and for all the questions that you want to see all the answers to, you checkbox it, and then select the top one, scroll down, and hit that. Uh, hold the shift key down and then select the last question. So select the top one, left click, hold the shift key down and do it this way because then you get all the questions on your report. Otherwise it'll just give you, so if you want to just see what great deal better, very convenient, quite and everything, you can just select those. This way you get all the information. Okay. And I'll show you why in a second here. Hold the shift key down, last one. This here, boom, boom, and boom. And then I just select view statistics, and then what it's gonna do is it's gonna give me this long page full of all, <clears throat> all the stuff that I have, okay? So you can see that percentage total of people that finished it was 50% because I didn't finish one of them. But you go through, it says how helpful is your customer service representative? And then quite helpful, so one person, 100%. So as this, you start getting these, you'll be able to see um, the different questions, okay, and then the count, and then the percentage. If you don't select anything, you're just going to see like the A1s and stuff. So you want to make sure you select everything, okay, and then that way you can run your um, tests, okay. You can print this whole page if you wanted to, or you can put it in uh, PDF and click on View Stats, and then it'll generate <clears throat> PDF for you that you can download and you can look at, okay. So <clears throat> those work, and Excel works too. Um, pretty simple. So <clears throat> if you want to go back into the survey itself, you can. Um, I don't recommend it, but if you want to, for whatever reason, you're already here. Here's your question groups. You got to click on survey. So you get the survey. So now it's going to show the questions. Here are the questions. So say you wanted to change the question or fix the question. You select it. You go into it here drops down another menu, you got preview, and you have edit. So I can edit the current question, which is number one, right, over here. And <clears throat> I could change what the question is, all right. Now, if I wanted to change what the responses were, <clears throat> and I always want to select save when I'm done. If I want to change the responses to this question, there's a little box here, if I roll over it, is edit answers for this question, and then I could change the responses. I could uh, edit them, I can add more, or I can delete them, okay. And I can actually order them. So if I wanted this one up there, I can just click and drag. And you always want to select Save Changes. All right. And then it'll actually <clears throat> re-update on the website. So whatever changes you make <clears throat> will automatically be live. <clears throat> That's it. You can also change uh, the welcome and the thank you pages if you want.